Hi, I'm Don Waddell with UEI Test Instruments. I'm glad to be with you and I have about 25 years plus experience in the test instrument marketplace. This is the setup menu and in the setup menu you can set up your two lines of header with your company name and phone number. It also allows you to make different settings for pressure, temperature, uh, your manometer, etc. This is a copy of the status menu. If you'll notice it tells you the percent of battery power you have. It shows you the time the date, and it shows you that it needs to be calibrated in another 321 days. This is the auxiliary screen. You can choose any four parameters you would like to measure, and you can input this yourself in the auxiliary screen. This is the fuel screen. Your choices of fuel are natural gas, propane, light oil, heavy oil, wood, and biofuel. This is the combustion screen. There are two screens for combustion. The first one gives you oxygen, carbon monoxide, pressure, and flu temperature. The second screen gives you carbon dioxide, nitrous oxide, which this does not have, so it's not found, but NO can be added later uh, with just the cost of the sensor. You don't obsolete the product. You also have your efficiency of the product, and you have your excess air. This is the pressure test. You zero the pressure for the manometer. If you zero it horizontally, leave it horizontal. If you zero it vertically, please leave it vertically. The sensor is that fine. For your heat exchanger test, again, you take a reading before the fan comes on. After the fan comes on, you take a second reading. If there's a crack, it opens up and it forces additional air in, so you'll see a change or an increase in your oxygen reading. This is the temperature screen. You have T1, T2, and the differential. And again, on the bottom, you have the two thermocouple plug-ins in which you read that with. That can be used, again, besides just combustion efficiency calculation. You can do superheat and subcooling temperature differentials. The last screen is your room CO test. You press the button to start. And again, this test runs for a minimum of 30 minutes. It gives you the highest reading for every two-minute period of time for the 30 minutes. For more information, contact your T-Equipment product specialist.